Namaste my loves and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I haven't done a drag block video in a while actually but I did want to just say I really really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me on all the videos that I've been doing recently which have all been based on self-development. That's a massive 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 passion of mine to talk about and I am going to continue to do those so Thank you again for just all the beautiful support. My channel's growing and I'm so excited about it and this community's growing and I really appreciate the support guys. Honestly, I, I, I'll repeat myself over and over, but just thank you. You all know who you are. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm just gonna dive straight into this video because you've all clicked on it for a specific reason. In the whole two years or over two years that I've had this hairdo <laughs> this style i have been asked the same questions over and over and over again and i just thought making a video for you guys answering the questions will clear that up if you are thinking about getting dreads or you're just genuinely interested about getting to not understand them then this video is for you so i've got a list of questions on my phone and the list is pretty big so we're going to go through each one and answer each question as if it's kind of like a q a but it's just the questions that i've accumulated over the years so grab yourself a cup of tea i've got myself a fat brew here look at the size of it. oh my god because you know your girl needs a little pick me up get settled because we're gonna dive straight into this so the first question is do you wash your dreadlocks and the answer is yes <laughs> I wash my dreads and many, many people, everyone that's got dreads washes their dreads. It doesn't matter how long you leave it, how short you leave it. Hair is hair at the end of the day. Hair needs to be washed. So yeah, if you don't wash your dreads, they can get really dirty, obviously. But I know people that don't wash their dreads for months, but that's okay. You know, that's their choice. I know people that wash their dreads every second day, like they would their normal hair. So it really, really doesn't matter. It depends on the person. The majority of people with dreadlocks and that have had them for quite a long space of time might not wash them as frequent. At the beginning i was washing mine every week but now i leave it a little bit longer but it just really depends on how i'm feeling and obviously what i'm doing as well because that really is a big thing so yes 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 people wash dreadlocks they can be washed it's hair it needs to be cleaned does that clear your thoughts up <laughs> second question how do you wash your dreads exactly the same as you would wash your normal hair you just use shampoo maybe you might not need to use conditioner depends on whether your ends are loose but yes you just wash your hair like you would wash your hair before it's it's just hair at the end of the day there's no specific way of washing it you just wash it <laughs> quite a lot of people that have dreadlocks end up buying dreadlock specific shampoo which i've done but now i just don't really like i live at home so my mum and my dad will buy shampoo and i'll just end up using that because dreadlock shampoo is expensive but it is better because it smells nicer it's a lot more of a potent smell so the smell lingers in your hair for a lot longer but either way you can just wash it with anything with shampoo like either way it's you're washing your hair so it doesn't matter what you use whether it's dreadlock shampoo or normal shampoo it still works just the same question number three how often do you wash your hair and i kind of touched on this on the first question like i said depends on the situation depends on the person you can wash it every other day you can wash it every day you can wash it every three months you can wash it every one month you could wash it every two weeks it really doesn't matter you just go with whatever you feel like you want to do question number four is my hair heavy and the answer is yes <laughs> it is heavy but it's mainly heavy when it's wet so it soaks up water like a sponge so it is naturally really like i'm in the shower with my head literally back like Ugh, help me <laughs> when it's down like this i don't even feel any different it, it's fine when my hair's in a bun i definitely feel it in my neck because i've noticed actually this past year since i've had the longer dreads my neck is a lot stiffer so i have to do a lot of neck stretches like yoga neck stretches which does help you'd see me doing this quite a lot because i do get a sore neck but it's not like sore enough to like cause me issue you know it's just a little bit achy but yes they're heavy when they're wet not so much when they're not in a bun fair enough yeah it's a little bit woo, but it's all good question number five does it hurt when i sleep now this again depends on the person me no it doesn't hurt me when i sleep there is sometimes if my hair's in a bun and there's like a few dreads overlapping at the back like right where my head would be on the pillow then that is quite annoying because it feels like there's a lump in the way if that makes sense other than that it doesn't hurt at all when i'm sleeping some people can actually find it really uncomfortable to have dreadlocks whilst they sleep but i don't know why from like the get-go it was fine for me it didn't really bother me enough to cause me issues like i sleep really 
well. So again, depends on the person, depends on how your hair is. Like I wouldn't sleep with my hair down because it's too long. It gets in the way way too much. I'd be lying all over the back of it. I have to wear it in a high pony and kind of pull my hair out to the side. Otherwise I'll put it in a bun, but yeah, it doesn't hurt. Question number six, how do I look after my dreads? So you can look after your dreads through many different ways, many different techniques. You can get maintenance done every month or every two months, which is with a crochet needle. You can palm roll your dreads. You have to make sure that you pull your dreads apart because otherwise they'll end up growing out as one. Making sure that they're all separate. When you wash your hair, making sure when you get out of the shower, you pull the dreadlocks apart so that they do have their own section, if that makes sense. And yeah, just washing them kind of like normal hair, really. It's just the maintenance of it all. It's not that hard. It's a lot less maintenance, I think, but it's just all in one chunk usually rather than doing your hair every other day or getting your hair cut every couple of months kind of thing. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Question number seven, how do you make dreadlocks? Now, this is quite similar to the previous question. You can either do it from scratch where you leave your hair to free form into dreadlocks where you just have to keep separating them, keep washing your hair, keep separating them, but also just keep palm rolling them and just letting them form their own little style. You can either get them done by someone else where you'd get them crocheted into a dreadlock, which is similar to crocheting. It's like sewing. So you're putting the needle in, pulling it out, putting it in, pulling it out. Uh, most of the time what you do is you grab a section of the hair that you're going to dreadlock you'll back comb that section and you'll pinch it with your fingers and start feeding it with the crochet needle so it's sewing the hair together into a lock that's how I know how to do it anyway you can also do it with twist and rip I personally wouldn't do that because you're literally ripping the hair straight off the bat they're the only two forms of making dreads that I know about but yeah I'm sure if you look it up online you'll be able to find out the other ways of doing it question number eight is how long have I been growing my dreads for so i've had my dreadlocks for two years and nearly three months i didn't grow mine and get them free formed or anything i got them locked and then they just grow anyway but for the first year they shrink and then after the first year they kind of start growing as well so people think that i've grown all of this and I haven't, so you can say I'm a cheat, but I don't care. <laughs> this is a style that I love. I love having them this long. My aim is for my natural hair to grow just as long. Maybe if it gets about halfway down, then I'll actually take the extensions out and just have my natural hair. But the aim is to have all my natural hair, just dreadlocks and no synthetic. Well, this isn't synthetic. This is actually real hair extensions. I'd like to eventually get rid of those and have it all be my own hair. So I haven't been growing them all the way to this length, just so you all know. I'm happy and open and honest enough to say that this is not all my natural hair okay so yeah tea break question number 10 when will you take your dreads out now this one makes me laugh because i don't know why people assume that i'm gonna have like a date in mind when i'm gonna take them out but i'm not planning to take them out anytime soon put it that way i would like my dreads to be in my hair as long as possible i don't know how long that will be i know people that have had their dreadlocks for like 12 years and i know people that have had them for six months and took them out it really just depends on the person so i mean i remember i got to a point before i reached my second year of having them and i felt like i wanted to take them out and I told myself if I can make it to two years with having them and I want to take them out then then I'll take them out because that would have been about six months of thinking about taking them out I got to two years and actually as I creeped up to two years I was like I love them I love them even more now I want them to get longer and be able to take the extensions out that's like the aim so yeah I ain't gonna take them out anytime soon okay question number 11 do you have to shave your hair if you want to take them out and the answer is no you don't you don't have to shave your hair I don't know why people think this I mean for ease yeah guys in this sense are really quite lucky because they could probably just shave them off and still look really cool whereas girls would be like yeah i don't want to just shave all my hair off and then start from scratch i mean some girls look amazing with shaved heads but i just won't be doing that if you want to do it for your own easy kind of life then do it because it is going to take a long time to brush them out but no you do not have to shave your hair you can literally comb them out it will take a long time it's not essential that you shave your head it's just you don't need to do that so question number 12 how do you take your dreads out like I said previously, you just comb them out. It will take a long time, especially if you've got loads of dreadlocks, then yeah, it's gonna take a long time to take them all out. But you can, yeah, literally just comb it out. Say if I was gonna take one of mine out, I'd have to cut the extension off and start brushing that out. You just slowly pick it out. I am tempted to take a few out at the top. I keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I just don't because I'm like, oh no, because what if I do it and then I don't like it? Yeah, I could just put the dreadlock back in, but that dreadlock's never gonna be the same. It's always gonna be a new dread. I don't know, I'm just not sure about it yet. But if I do that, I will film it, so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Question number 13, is it easier than having normal hair? And my answer is... 
yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it's easier than having normal hair. And the reason I say that is because I had hair down to nearly my butt prior to having dreadlocks. It was more hassle because I had to obviously wash it more frequently because it would get greasy. I'd have to style it a lot more. I would have to, you know, trim it and the, the ends would get split and I, I, it would... Ugh. It was just a lot of maintenance, personally, and I was just growing it and growing it and growing it, and I would have continued to grow it if I didn't get dreadlocks, but to be honest, I think this was one, like, one of the best decisions I made, and especially before going travelling, it, it just made my life so much easier, and a lot of people thought it would probably be more difficult to have dreads travelling, and I will say absolutely not, because if I had my normal hair when I was travelling, that would literally have drove me crazy. I will say it now, it would have drove me absolutely crazy. But yeah, made my life 10 times easier. I get up every day and my hair is done. I don't have to worry. I want to leave it down, I can leave it down. If I want to tie it up in a bun, I don't even need a bobble. Bobble's a hair tie, by the way, in case you don't know what that is. Because I've said that before when I was traveling to some people and they're like, what is a bobble? <laughs> it's a hair tie. It's what English people call hair ties. I don't know why. It's, it's a very, very strange word actually for it. But yeah, bobble. I mean, say it. It actually sounds quite fun to say. <laughs> What, how many was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, what? Oh my god, guys, I missed a number out. I missed 12, I think. I think I said 13 just now, but the next question is question number 13. How long was your hair before how... <laughs> How long was your hair before having dreadlocks? I just said that in my previous um, answer and it was nearly down to my butt. So it was kind of like above my tailbone, I would say. It's just a bit more above my tailbone, maybe about that high above my tailbone. It was pretty long and when I dreadlocked it, I lost half the length. So it kind of went up to like the middle of my back, like the end of the hair was up, up to like the middle of my back. So it's still quite long, but you're gonna have to put extensions in because I was like, I can't have short hair. I just, I need, wow, it's really orange in here, isn't it? Sorry, I didn't realise how like orange it was. It's because the sun's just gone down, so. <laughs> That's too dark, isn't it? God damn it. We're just gonna leave it on, guys. We're gonna go for it. Okay, sorry about the lighting. It's, I, just, I can't help it. Okay, question number 14. Does it damage your hair having dreadlocks? And the answer I would say is absolutely yes. Because you're literally not in your hair. Of course it's gonna damage it. Like when you're brushing it out, you're gonna have to be ripping, not ripping, but you're gonna have to be picking knots out of your hair. You're gonna lose a lot of length. It is just the way it is. I had dreadlocks prior to having these and I lost loads of length. I lost like that much length. So yeah, it damages your hair, basically. Okay, question number 15. If I've got the numbers wrong, guys, please forgive me. I can't count when there's like this many over and I haven't got numbers on here, but question number 15, how many dreadlocks do you have? And I have 52 dreadlocks, 52, and I still have 52, yeah. Question number 16, how thick are your dreadlocks? And I would say, some of them are really thin. Like I have some here that are really, really thin. The thickest ones are probably on the top. These ones, but I would say, mine are probably about a centimeter thick all over. So yeah, <laughs> that's all I've got to say about that. Question number 17. Yes, question number 17. What do your family and friends think of your dreadlocks or what did they think of your dreadlocks? And half and half, half of them were like, yeah, go for it. My sister's actually a loctician. So, you know, my family had kind of already gotten used to that. So I didn't really need to worry about, I didn't, to be honest, I don't care what people think. The one place I was kind of a bit more cautious about is workplaces. I was kind of a bit think, oh, well, I was worried that workplaces were gonna judge me on my hair. But actually, it's been all right because I actually am starting a new job next week, and they were fine with it. So I'm I'm really happy about that. It's you know it's great. Family, friends, like some friends were a little bit like, oh, are you really, really gonna do that to your hair? Really like how your hair is now. And then some friends were like, yeah, go for it. They look great. But me being me, I don't really care what people think. If they don't like my hair, then that's their problem. It's not mine. I. I like my hair and that's all that matters really. So I'm so sorry about this darkness in here, by the way, it's really bad. Question number 18, I think. Do you get annoyed with your dreadlocks? Yes, I get annoyed with my dreadlocks. I get annoyed because they're so long and they get in the way, you know, they get in the way a lot. And especially like, for example, when I'm wearing a scarf, I have to make sure they're all out of my scarf before I get them out. And you know, think about like having to pull all of this length out and you're like, Ugh. my arms aren't long enough sometimes. They're literally longer than my arms. Oh my God, they actually are, look. Hold on, look, they're like longer than my arms. So imagine me trying to pull them out of places, you know, when you're trying to get changed and stuff, you have to make sure your hair's in a bun because there ain't no way you're gonna be putting on a turtleneck jumper with your hair down with 
your hair this long, it's just absolutely not gonna happen. I don't find them uncomfortable when I sleep, but they can get in the way when I'm sleeping. So if my hair's in a pony, I will find sometimes I wake up in the night and I'm lying on my dreads and they're itching my face. So question number 19. Does it itch your head having dreadlocks? Yes, I actually suffer with eczema on my scalp. So yeah, it does itch. I think that you have to be wary of that. If you suffer with an itchy scalp anyway, I would bear in mind that they are probably gonna itch more with the dread thin, because I think where your hair's just tighten up into one little space, then it is quite itchy. Also, when you get maintenance done, oh, my head's so itchy, I don't know why. I think actually it's because the hair gets pulled out a little bit and it irritates the scalp. So yeah, it is itchy. It is, some people might not find it itchy but i find especially as well when you know it's time for a wash when you know you've left it for like a month let's say and your hair starts getting itchy you know you need to go and wash your hair because your head's itching because it's probably a little bit dirty question number 20 how do you style your dreadlocks and honestly you know you see people that style their dreadlocks in loads of beautiful ways with braids and all this kind of stuff i'm sorry but reality for me is absolutely not that i find if i put my hair in two french plaits it's so stiff that it actually hurts you feel like you can't move your head because your dreads are so solid that it just doesn't move it doesn't move with your shoulders so the only way i style my hair is putting it in a bun putting it in a high ponytail or wearing my hair down that is literally the only way i style my hair because it's just so much easier it's so much simpler if i just do it that way so yeah and last but probably not least, what shampoo do you use? Oh, I already spoke about this. Yeah, I use any shampoo really. You can use branded shampoo based for dreadlocks, which I would, I, to be honest, I prefer. I definitely prefer dreadlock shampoo because it makes your hair smell so good. But honestly, at the moment and for the past year, I've only been using just normal shampoo because why not? <laughs> if there's any more questions that I haven't covered in this video, then please do not hesitate to leave them down below. I'm more than open to answer them or just communicate with each other in the description box. <laughs> yeah, again, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm so grateful for all your support continuously and I'm so happy that you're enjoying my new videos as well based on self-development. They're going to continue to come. I have actually got a series coming up soon, which will be a ultimate guide to backpacking. I know it's different, but I haven't done a travel video in a long time so really looking forward to that so stay tuned weekly video should be up and coming now i'm trying my utmost best to do that changes and things are happening so love and light to you all don't forget to like and subscribe and turn the <laughs> <laughs> hit the bell sorry i know it's annoying but we all ask you don't have to if you don't want to but options there if you want to follow me on instagram i'll link it down below under life of lauren 30 or if you want to follow my other instagram page which is the wisdom is within which is all self-development positive quotes well have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world namaste and mwah to you peace out homies bye <laughs> bye bye oh, my okay bye